is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Now, we will learn how these rocks are formed. Let me tell you a secret. If you know the meaning of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, then understanding the formation of rocks becomes very easy. Let's first learn about igneous rocks. To understand igneous rocks, let's first know the meaning of igneous. Igneous means resulting from or produced from fire. To understand it further, let's first understand the volcano. Inside the Earth's core, there are a lot of molten metals and minerals. These melt due to very hot temperatures inside the Earth. The melted material is called magma. It puts a lot of pressure on Earth's surface. Sometimes Earth's surface breaks and this magma comes out. When it comes out, it is called lava. Some of the magma can't come out and it settles inside the Earth. Whatever magma cools inside under the surface of the Earth changes into granite. It is a kind of igneous rock. The lava, which comes out and gets in touch with air, cools down faster. This cooled down lava forms basalt rocks. Basalt rocks are also igneous rocks. So, there are two main types of igneous rocks. Ones that are formed when magma comes out, which are basalt, and others when magma cools down under the surface of the earth. These are granite rocks. You're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. Uh, it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.